we're kind of tired of the chucking and bucking of the fifth wheel hitch we're headed over to Dan's yeah. RV Hitches LLC here in Elkhart they're gonna replace this Rhino box um, and I'll, I'll show you what we're gonna replace it with when we get there so let me get Maria and the dog loaded up and we will head down the road it's hot today. and yes sometimes I carry a purse and wine bags make for great water bottle carriers. Gotta do our walk around. Always check the tires, make sure the jacks are up. Cover still on. Aha. Uh -huh. This is why you do a walk around. That would have been a real issue. We're just gonna walk down the side of the rig. I'm gonna make sure the doors are closed. I'm gonna make sure the the hitch itself. I always do a visual inspection. We are hooked up there. Let's do a test of the BM. Great hitch, love it. Never had a problem with high hitching, but the pin box is a pain in the butt. So it's Ford for us. We're gonna we're gonna pull through the parking lot. And then we're gonna back into that second bay over there so that they can, can work on them. I can tell you after after meeting Ryan and Shannon, Ryan is, is uh, I guess, the owner of, of Dan's. Um, Shannon's gonna be the technician working on it. Um, I am very confident that, that this is gonna go very, very well. They both have the same mindset that I do. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to, to getting it. So we're gonna spin, spin wide right here. And my goal is to take this wide, get the fifth wheel kind of straightened back out and then just stick it right in that hole. But <clears throat> we shall see what happens. Are those bolts a special grade that go in there? And if so, how do you tell what what grade they are? Do you know? You can look right here on the end of the, see the three notches. Okay. Three, three notches be main grade five. Five notches be grade eight. It would have eight on one. On so it. if you don't have three notches on your bolts, you need to swap them out. Yeah, then they're hardware grade. <laughs> <laughs> So 
So for those that say this is a one-man job, would you agree or disagree? It can be done by one man. It's just easier with two. <laughs> You'll find that each one is an individual. They just, you know, like people are people. Cars are cars, trucks are trucks, traders are RVs. <laughs> so one might be simple, simple, and one might be more difficult. You just, you never know until you get into it. So with the Rhino box, do you consider this a more difficult? Because I notice it's got that bar across the, the back there that seems to limit access to that nut. Is that common? The, or? The, 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 they almost all have some kind of bar across the back. Okay. And the ones that are worse, the ones that don't, and they put the electrical box on the pin box. So you drop it out, you can take the electrical box off to be able to put the pin box in and then figure out what you're going to do with the electrical box. Sometimes you mount it up here, sometimes you mount it back on the new. Okay. Now that was a good idea to put that railroad spike in there to hold it instead of a bolt. Yeah. Mm. I've seen a lot of videos. I've never seen that before, and that's actually probably the best idea I've seen. He's on that. He's on there. Oh. I'm assuming this is the the new one that's. Yes, this one here. Bolts, bolt pack, safety chain. You have the three, three notches on the top. That's a grade five. Okay. Six notches, grade eight. So this will be a stronger bolt going yes. in there than what came out of it. Yes, it's a hard bolt. Come forward. Oh, went too far. Back up just a little bit. Come in a little bit. Yeah. Oh. You want to ease forward, son? I got it right there. Just leave it right there. So, in your opinion, it's on the road. So this here, it will lessen all that beating jarring your teeth out of your mouth kind of aspect uh when the actual trailer goes going down the road with your rhino box you know every time you hit a bump it would just jar on the back of your truck of course jarring you this here actually is called torsion flex and it actually limits that jarring you and gives you a better ride because the actual truck and trailer are actually moving away from each other First thing, I got a Gen Y on the back of my truck and I put my, I had a 32 foot bumper pull and I put it back there. My brother-in-law kept looking in the rearview mirror. It's like, is there a trailer back there? You get this Gen Y system with a fifth wheel pin on. I mean, you can you have it either goose ball or fifth wheel uh, with the Gen Y system. So it's, they're, they're both yeah. available. You heard about Little Miss Buffett, right? Sat on top of it. Do what? Uh, little Miss Buffett sat on top of it. Only came a spider, sat down beside her and scared Miss Buffett away. Yeah, okay. That was a spider, right? Just... <laughs> <laughs> because we have the leftover bolts from the old hitch, I just like to fill all the holes that we can fill. So. I got you. Did I tell you about the deer I have out the south side of town don't have eyes? No. Huh? You know what we call them? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Now what will these bolts be torqued to? 200, 220? 250 foot pounds. 
Gen, Gen Y is really picking up in popularity. They have several OEMs that are now going to them exclusively. Uh, he, he, either Gooseball or the fifth wheel pin. I would say probably got more of them going to the fifth wheel pin, but they have some commercial uh, cargo traders that are going to the Gooseball. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm barely moving it at all. Good. I lost my first life in cancer in 89. He was a freshman. He just finished his freshman year of uh, college. And I said, uh, you join me. We can have the business. Sometime comes. He's been with me since uh, 89. And this, this may be plenty long. You've got experience. I don't know how much gap you had. It was, it was here. I moved it a little closer to the center. Uh, we like the bungee cord ones, but... Somewhere you don't want to have your hand when that comes back down. And that's right there. <laughs> Not bad. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I, I lost a chunk about the size of a dime right there yesterday. <laughs> This lever is actually what makes the ball go in. See how it came out? When it goes down in, you're going to stand this up, you're going to drop it in, and you will actually push this, pop the handle down. And that's right. Of course, you take this, you'll pick this up, and turn this in the bottom part. and base out all at once or we actually do now bring your fifth wheel puller out when you come The other thing that I was was concerned about was potentially losing that gap in between the, the tailgate and the truck, but it doesn't appear as though that's happened.
That's not going to be too tight. Pull, pull a couple more links out. There you go. If they push it forward, see will almost reach the ball. That, that'll be your proof whether you can turn 90 degrees or whether you can't. Up to there? Yeah. The reason being, you know, if anything ever happens and they're like this, and it's pulling, it's, it's, it's pulling it always towards the center. If they're back like this, then it can whip a whole lot more. So much space. I like that. Is it everything you hoped it would be? So far. You're happy? Yeah. Yep. That's what it's all about. Now let's go get unhappy. I gotta pay for it. <laughs>